faces. <sighs> I thought I would do a little paint with me today. Um, right now I'm working on the checkerboard. I have this huge area that were was uh, the same color and uh, yeah that is what I'm doing right now I hope you also you guys have had a good start on this new week and also something I want is to say happy birthday to Donna to Donna I know she had birthday yesterday uh, I actually did try to make a video but I had some difficult with um, um, my video so in the end I actually del deleted the video so so sorry Donna because I would have congratulated you yesterday but I hope you had a wonderful day together with your family and that you got a lot of lovely presents so but also I was thinking about doing some tag questions because I found some on the internet also for you guys to get to know me much better and um, yeah let's let's get started on those um, let me see what was the first one? Well, some of the, f the questions I know I have answered before, but if there are any new to my, my channel, then they will know this too. So, what is your full name? My full name is Heidi Christine Rasmussen. Um, and... Um, I have my my middle name after my grandmother. Her middle name was Christine also. And where are you from? Well, I'm from Denmark. Uh, and that is one of uh, the Scandinavian countries here in Europe. So, yeah. Uh, where were you born? Um, I was born in a city called Horsens. And I still live here. And to be honest, I will never move, <coughs> sorry, move away from, from this town. I love living here so much and um, yeah never going to move away from here um, what are your favorite things about yourself well one of them is definitely my kindness to other people um, I am a very kind person and I really don't have any mean bones inside of me at all. Um, I have witnessed myself um, a lot of bad people through my years of living and um, I don't like mean people so I have always 
been kind and uh, also I can give my, my mother a big thank you for how I am today. So, yeah. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear? Well, I really don't have any fears right now, but I did have some before and my biggest fear was actually to lose my mom. Um, I always have been so afraid to lose my mom and also one day when she and I was uh, talking about when that day would come when she was not here anymore then I also said to her that I would I would go down um, I just knew with myself that that would happen and it did also happen um, she uh, <coughs> she was going to uh, to the hospital to get a kidney stone removed and um, yeah sadly she died the next early morning of um, how do you say it? Is it a blood pluck? Blood, blood something? But it, it was it was so strange everything because I talked with her in, in the evening um, over the phone we were talking about an hour or so and um, then I said goodnight to her and said well we we will see each other tomorrow because she was allowed to come home the day after but uh, yeah she didn't get home and I also went into to shock and uh, it did damage my my memory so my my short time memory is not that good. It's better now than it have been, but um, still, I can't handle too many information because I will simply just forget it so fast. So yeah. Uh, <clears throat> what is the most important thing in your life? The most important thing in my life is my boyfriend and my little dog. They are the most important things in my life. And I love them both to pieces. I have, as I have said before, a very, very good man he is so kind and thoughtful so yeah he is just like me a very kind person mm. who is your favorite actor my favorite actor is nicolas cage I simply love movies with that man, um, but also one person that I also liked was um, Patrick Swayze. Uh, who is your favorite actress? My favorite actress must be Sandra Bullock. I love many of her movies because they are are funny 
and uh, I like I like funny uh, movies. I'm not so fond of scary movies and uh, what are they called now? Science fiction. It must be something like that, yeah. So, and then of course I love, um, yeah, cute, lovely movies, and um, one movie that I really like and I can see over and over again is actually The Sound of Music. I simply just love that movie so much. What is your favorite fairy tale? My favorite fairy tale? That must be The Ugly Duckly by Hans Christian Andersen. And uh, I guess you guys know him also since... He was a very famous uh, storyteller back in the days. <clears throat> so yeah, I have actually visited his uh, home here in uh, in Denmark, where he was raised as a child over in uh, the city called Oinse. So yeah, it was definitely not a big house, a very very small house. So. Not a lot of room at all, but uh, it was fun to visit. Uh, what is your favorite time of the day? My favorite time of the day is, especially here in the summertime, in the morning. Uh, also because I love especially when when the summer summer start and and you can hear the birds waking up in the morning and yeah i know they start very early um and it's just so amazing with that big bird choir it's so mind blowing and sometimes i'm just thinking it's amazing how those little birds have those huge singing voices. So yeah, that's definitely, definitely my favorite time of the day. And let's see, what else do we have? Do you have a garden? Yes, I do have a garden, but it don't look that good. It look horrible, but um, next year I'm going to transform it. Uh, we are going to make a lot of changes out there, so we will enjoy it even more than we do now. And I'm also actually thinking about <clears throat> recording a little bit of that when we start to renovate our, our garden because it will be very beautiful very beautiful uh, do you have a tattoo? no, I don't have any tattoos at all um, I think tattoos are beautiful and some of those tattoo artists, they are amazing. Uh, I also know one guy that do uh, tattoos, and he is so amazing, so amazing. It's it's like artwork when you see many of the tattoos that people get, and but. I I have never had the urge to to get any of myself at all. But if I ever should get one, it 
would definitely be an orchid also because as you guys know I love orchids and um, orchids was also one of my mom's favorite flowers so if I ever should get a tattoo it would be an orchid because that would also do so I would think about my mom so yeah uh, do you have allergies? Yes, as you guys already know, I have been sitting here and sneezing a few times. <laughs> so, I, to be honest, I can't wait now for winter time, so all of the different pollen will go away. So, yeah. But the worst thing is, with my allergy is when my eyes close it's to be honest I look like one that have been beaten up that somebody have really kicked my ass <laughs> so yeah but that's definitely not fun when when that happened when my eyes close uh -huh. Do you have any birthmarks? If so, where? Um, I actually do have a birthmark, um, and I have it in my my head. But many don't notice it because it's very uh, light, and it's um, just beside my my one eye. Uh, it's very very light brown uh, but people definitely can see it if they get get close to me then they can see that I have it but otherwise people don't notice and I must say I'm actually happy that it it is that light also since I have it in my my head so yeah when I actually was a child, my my stepdad often thought that I was still dirty in the face because of my my birthmark over on the side. So yeah. Um, do you like to travel? Yes, I love to travel, and I think I have been to eleven. 10, 11 countries so far um, but my favorite country to go to is definitely Austria I love Austria so much it's such a beautiful country and um, the people down there they are so kind and sweet and I just love to be there and when I have been there to be honest then I actually don't want to go home because I love being there so much and love the mountains and everything I don't know I don't know if you guys ever have experienced this but if you have been a place and it's like you feel like your home that it feels like you belong there in some way even though that maybe it's not your country or or another state for you guys in in the US I don't know if any of you have experienced that but that that's how I'm feeling when I'm in Austria. I feel like I'm home in in some way, and uh, I can't explain it. It is it's just so strange. But there is actually something I want to show you guys from Austria. That is uh, also something that I really love to see, and it is a little bit special. And. Um, 
it is in um, in the start of September they start to bring their cows down from the mountains and then they decorate them to celebrate uh, that autumn is on the way so I will show it to you guys right now maybe you have to take down the volume a little bit because the cowbells can be a little bit loud but here it is hope you guys enjoyed watching that um, as I said it's, it's just so amazing to be down there and experience experience no, ex oh my god I can't say that word now sorry guys but I it's, it's just so special to to see and um, but also, because they take uh, the cows up in the mountains in the summertime, and um, then the cow shepherds stay up there together with the cows for they are up there for like 120 days, and they will stay up there in the mountains together with them, and. It's just so amazing because those cows down there they are so they're so relaxed. I have not not even seen all cows here in, in Denmark being so relaxed and as the cows down in, in Austria. But also some of the farmers that uh, do have some of the cows down in, in the valleys that are bringing them home to get uh, the milk uh, every day you will you will see the farmers come walking with with the cows on the street and it's simply just so amazing because they are so relaxed so relaxed and also down there um, the cows have uh, first priorities so if you come driving, you have to uh, stop and pull into the side and wait for the cows to pass. So they have first priority down there. But um, yeah, that's something that is very special down there, and uh, it's so amazing to to see. It it really is. But it's so beautiful to see when the farmers put these um, flower crowns on on their on the cows and come walking with them when they take them down it's so amazing to see so yeah uh, the next question what flavor of tea do you enjoy 
Um, my flavor of tea that I enjoy is definitely forest fruit. That's the one that I like most. Um, it's just that flavor that I like. And um, of course, I can do drink other kind of cheese tea, but my favorite is definitely the forest fruit. And then, as the Englishmen do, put a little bit of milk in it. Mmm, it's so good. Um, do you sing in the shower? No, I don't sing in the shower at all. Uh, but my boyfriend do and it's so hilarious to actually sit and listen to because he comes up with his own lyric because he's so bad at remembering songs so he comes up with his his own <laughs> and sometimes it's, it's simply so hilarious to to listen to um, but I actually think if I had bathtub I would be laying and singing and listen to some music so yeah I actually think I would then think sing I think so um, <clears throat> do you remember your dreams well most of my dreams I do remember but of course sometimes if you wake up um i don't how how can i explain that if you wake up like uh, very quick if somebody wake you up it's like you forget what you did dream about but mostly i do remember my dreams so yeah and Let's take the last one and then I think I will last question for today and then I will save the others for another day because then you have gotten to know a little bit more about me. So let's see what is the last one. What is your favorite childhood memory? My favorite childhood memory is definitely um, the one together with my my brother. Oh, I'm sorry, the light is shining in. I don't know how much that affects the video. Oh my god, you guys can't see anything. Let me turn the lines a little bit. Will that help a little bit? Oh, now it's getting very dark, isn't it? I hope that is better. Isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Um, let's see. Where were we? My favorite childhood memory. My favorite childhood memory was as I said definitely together with my my brother um, and that was in uh, the winter time um, then he had well it was not like a scooter but I don't know what they were called back then but it, it is a, a little bit, it remind me of, of a scooter. And um, then he would uh, put my slate bag to it. And uh, then he would drive me around on the streets where we live with... Uh, me attached <laughs> to uh, 
to the to the scooter and then he would drive me around on on the slate and sometimes um sometimes he did take some of the other children from a, a street also and then he would uh, connect all of the slates after each other and then he would be driving around with with us children and yeah it was it was fun so that's definitely definitely my biggest favorite childhood memory and it was it was so fun but of course nobody of the other ones want to be sitting in the front <laughs> and no wonder because I was the one that got all the snows up in my head <laughs> because of uh, the uh, because of the the wheel from the scooter so yeah <laughs> and also something that he oh he was such a devil <laughs> because sometimes if it was only me then he would um uh put up the speed and if he then saw a big, uh, how do you say, pale, pale, do we say pale? I'm not sure. Uh, of snow, then he would actually speed up and then turn very quick because then my slate will, of course, t tilt and I would fly over in that big pail of snow <laughs> and oh my god I, I did get angry at him so many times because of it <laughs> and then I would get so angry sometimes that I didn't want to sit on the slate anymore and then I just choose to walk home instead <laughs> so yeah so that's definitely definitely my my biggest childhood memory so yeah, also something that I remember that I really loved back then in the winter time. I don't know why, it, 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 I just think it was very special because then you have that cold weather and all of the snow and then now and then you could hear the church bell ringing. I don't know why that... that just made such a big impact on me and I loved to hear that so much so yeah but um, also something that I remember in in the winter times as as little was when we were out by uh, my aunt and uncles uh, because as I have mentioned before all my family were farmers and the one of my uncle he had pigs and the other one had cows but when we visit them in the winter time oh my god they had just there was just so much snow out there in in the country and it was so high that you could actually Thick, uh, little caves into the snow so that was something I really loved and I had a blast of time but of course I was alone because I'm actually the youngest of all of my my cousins and also, between me and my, my brother, there is actually 13 years between him and me. So, yeah. So, I am the one that was very behind. <laughs> so, yeah, all of my, my cousins, they are in the late 50s and in the start of the 60s now. So, yeah. But, uh, 
I definitely had some good memories together there with my my brother. Oh, actually, <laughs> when I think about it, on a memory we're together with him. Oh my God, that one is so hilarious. <laughs> he had a, a, Volk, a Volkswagen, uh, the little bubble uh, one, and uh, one year him and I was um, driving out in a, a forest to to get some um, some branch, some some um, oh how, what is are they called? Um, the branches from the Christmas trees from for my mom for using for Christmas decorations and uh, we went out there in the forest and he drove down a, a little road in, in, in the forest and we got uh, all the branches and uh, the pine cone branches and then he wanted to back up again but he couldn't we were stuck. We were stuck there in that little forest. <laughs> the only thing that we could do was actually to drive down of that little road. And then we actually would end up out on a field. <laughs> so, what did my brother do? He stepped on the speeder and... We were flying out on that field, and just beside this field there was a little farmhouse, and uh, <laughs> my brother drove uh, into there, uh, between the house and, uh, and the stables, in the courtyard, and we were just like... <laughs> Passing by there, and the lady on that uh, in on that farm, she was standing in the window in her kitchen. I think it was was her kitchen. It was like, where the heck did that car come from? <laughs> so yeah, that's definitely one of my <laughs> biggest uh, childhood memories too. Now that I I'm thinking about it, <laughs> but it was hilarious, so hilarious. Just imagine you coming flying over the field with snow on and through that farm. <laughs> oh my god, I wonder what he had been thinking <laughs> that that little bubble came with full speed. <laughs> oh yeah, but um, that was definitely fun. Definitely was. So, but... I think, guys, I better stop for now, and then I will be thinking about some other things from my childhood, because there are so many things, and I'm actually sitting here with tears in, in my eyes because of the laughing, <laughs> because it was really fun. It oh, my camera just stopped, but um, yeah. I think this will be my last color here and then I will stop for today so the video don't get too long and you guys getting too bored. But I definitely hope that you have enjoyed this video and um, if you did, give it a thumb up. I would be very happy for that and uh, if you're new to my channel press the subscribe channel and the little bell because then you will be notified when I put new videos up so but again thank you to all of you guys that already are subscribing to me uh, if it was not for you I would definitely not be doing this uh, and I really love how I have gotten to know some of you guys you mean a lot to me so 
a big kiss to all of you and uh, have a great day and uh, I will see you soon again.